Hey everybody, this is Ms. Dietrich helping you on lesson 2.6, which is on estimate quotients. And the directions say, estimate using compatible numbers. Now, I think it's a good idea to go through these and decide which ones have a divisor that's close to a half. Because anyone, anyone like that, you're just going to rethink the divided by half, because remember, dividing by half is the same thing as what? Let's think about it. Dividing by half is the same as thing as multiplying by 2, right? Because the reciprocal of that would be 2, which is the same as 2 over 1. So that would be true for number 2. You're just going to double whatever your estimate is for the dividend. So others that look like they're kind of close to a half. Now, if you look at number 4, if this had been an 8, 4 eighths would have been exactly a half. So that's kind of close to a half. And remember, dividing by half is the same as multiplying by, in this case, a number that's close to 2. Other ones that have that going on. So here's divided by a half. That's going to be the same as doubling, right? Roughly a half. Here's another one. If this had been a 10 instead of 11, then it would be exactly a half. So this one, you're going to think multiply by 2. Let's see if there's anything else here that looks like that. Well, we'll have to look at this one after. So let's just deal with the ones that I have here in red, because you're going to round the first number. So in this case, this is kind of close to 15 and a half. So you could either go 15 or you could go 16. You could say, what's 15 times 2? Or what's 16 times 2? And either one of those would be good, but it seems like 15 times 2 would give you a closer estimate. So you'll finish that one up and put that on the answer space. For number 4, we can call this 8. So what's 8 times 2? You'll put that on the space. This is kind of close to 25, this whole thing right here. So if we do 25 times 2, we should be good to go for number 8. And then this one, if we just kind of call this 15, because if this were 8 eighths, that would be a, a, actually a whole. So let's call that 15, find 15 times 2, and put that on the space. And that's how you're going to tackle the ones that have a divisor, which is close to a half. Now let's talk about some of the other ones. If you have two mixed numbers, then I'm going to suggest that you first round the divisor. So this is awfully close, close to 3. All right, and now let's take a look. Is 3 compatible with 18? And the answer to that question is yes. So just round that to 18 to make it compatible. 18 divided by 3 would be 6. Let's take a look at some others that have that kind of same thing going on where you have two mixed numbers. So here's another example where you have two mixed numbers. Start with rounding the divisor. So let's round that to 9. All right, now let's think of our multiples of 9 that are close to 62. One that comes to mind for me is 63. 63 is a multiple of 9, so we're going to round this whole thing to 63. Now just do 63 divided by 9, and you're going to be good to go for number 6. Let's take a look at, uh, let's see, what else looks like it might be tricky. Let's take a look at number 11. This is kind of close to 9, right? So we'll start by rounding the divisor. We're going to round that nut to 9. Ask yourself, what are some multiples of 9 that are close to 53? How about we go with 54? Do 54 divided by 9, and you're good to go for number 11. All right, now let's take a look at ones like, uh, like you know, where the divisor doesn't really have a value of much. See how these all have a numerator of 1? This has a numerator of 1. This has a numerator of 1. So really, remember, this is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal. So if I just flip this around, that's equal to 5 over 1, which is equal to 5. So the only thing left you have to do, this is awfully close to 1 as well, isn't it? 1 times 5, what does that equal? This one, we're going to just say that this is the same as multiplying by 7. That's awfully close to 1. If that were 16 16 that would be equal to exactly 1. So we're just going to do 1 times 7, and whatever you get, that's going to be your estimate. Now, remember, this is the same as multiplying by 9. Now, is this also close to 1? It sure is. So let's just call that 1, and we're going to do 1 times 9, and we're good to go with number 12. All right, so there's only a few left that you have to do. You shouldn't have too much difficulty. Good luck finishing it up.